Hi, I'm James Hamilton from Stumping Up's Woodworking Journal, and today we're going to cut a dovetail joint on the table saw. Hand cut dovetails can be very satisfying, but many woodworkers are just more comfortable with power tools. Recently, we showed you two ways to do that with a router and a couple of simple homemade jigs. You'll find links to those videos in the notes below this one. Both those techniques require the tail's half of the joint to be cut on the bandsaw, but today I'm going to show you two more simple jigs that enable you to cut both halves of the joint right on the table saw. These jigs are designed to fit my table saw mega sled system, which is a cross-cut sled with all sorts of built-in features, including jigs for joinery like tenons, box joints, miter splines, and now dovetails. You can find more information about the super sled system, including how to get a set of plans for this new dovetail jig at the link in the notes below. Those plans will also show you how these jigs could be used as a standalone jig in case you want to cut dovetails on the table saw, but you don't want to build a table saw sled. But first, let's see how they work. Let's start with the pins jig. It consists of two angled panels that hold your workpiece at 8 degrees. I chose 8 degrees because it's a common dovetail angle, but you could make yours any angle you like. The top of the jig attaches to the T-track on my sled's fence. This jig cuts the pins. The tails require another jig. It's simply a plywood panel with some wedges attached to the face that match the angles on the other jig. This one attaches to the fence of my table saw sled as well. Before we begin cutting, you have to lay out your joint. I prefer to cut the pins first with these jigs, so I lay out the pin locations on the inside face of my workpiece. I only have to place marks near the end, and I also mark the thickness of my mating tails board across the face of my pins board. For this and a lot of other table saw joinery techniques, you'll want a saw blade with teeth ground to leave a flat bottom on the curve. Combination blades won't do that. I'll put a link in the notes below this video to a couple of options on Amazon and MyWoodCutters.com. These blades are worth investing in, even if you're not cutting dovetails, because you can use them on rabbits, dados, bridle joints, all sorts of other joinery. Now, let's get to cutting the dovetails. The pins jig attaches to the table saw sled using T-bolts and wing nuts. Set it so the saw blade will cut near the center of the left hand panel as it appears to you when you're standing behind the sled. Set the blade height to the line you marked across the workpiece. Then stand the workpiece on its end, holding it against the angled panel, and begin nibbling away the waste area, beginning on the right side next to your first pin. When you reach the center of that first waste area, move on to the next waste area and repeat the same process. Then slide the whole jig over so the blade will cut now near the center of the other angled panel. And from there you can begin cutting out the waste on the left half of each of those waist areas. That's it, your pins are finished. To lay out your tails, hold the pins workpiece on end on top of your tails workpiece, and use a sharp pencil to place a mark on each side of each pin at the point where they touch the end of the workpiece. Of course, you also want to mark the thickness of the pins board on your tails board, and scribble off those waist areas. The tails jig attaches to the sled in the same way as the pins jig. We're going to begin with the blade cutting into the center of the ramp on the right side of the jig. Start with the blade height set lower than it needs to be, and then when you make your first cut right next to the far right pencil line, leave the line itself. If you cut away the pencil lines, your joint's going to be too loose, so leave the lines. And as you make your first cut, slowly raise the blade until the curve cut just touches the line you marked across the end of your workpiece to indicate the thickness of your pin's board. Then you can nibble away the rest of the material at that blade height setting. When removing the waste between the two tails, begin on the left side of the waste area and nibble up to the center. Then slide the jig over to the other side of the sled, and from there you can remove the rest of the waste. Because of the angle of the workpiece during the cuts, you'll have a jagged edge on the shoulder of the joint. This is easily to clean up with a chisel. Your joint should fit together snugly with a few taps from a fist or some light mallet taps. You shouldn't need to beat on it with a mallet to assemble a dovetail joint. You may get away with that in some light, soft pine, but you could really destroy your workpiece in hardwood by splitting it with too many mallet taps. If your joint's too tight, use a chisel to fine tune it. Just shave away a tiny bit of material on each side of each pin, test your fit, shave away a little more, and so on until it's nice and snug. If the joint's too loose, you probably cut your pencil lines away. There's nothing you can do about that. 
you have to recut the tails of the joint. That's why I like to leave my tails board extra long by an inch or two. That way, if I spoil the tails, I can trim them off and try again without having to get another workpiece. I've placed a link in the notes below this video to a downloadable guide which will walk you through the jig's construction and show you how to use it. It includes lots of photos and step-by-step -step instructions. If you buy our Mega Sled plans, this jig and all the other joinery jigs all come with it for free. You can also get this jig as part of the complete sled package, which includes the Mega Sled, the Mini Sled, the Miter Sled, and all the joinery jigs. If you already bought the Mega Sled plans or the jig package, send me an email at support at stumpydubs.com. I'll need to know roughly when you bought the plans and the email address on your PayPal account that you used to pay for them. After I confirm the purchase, I'll send you these new dovetail jig plans for free. If you want to build the dovetail jigs, but you don't want to build the Mega Sled, you can purchase these plans by themselves. Inside, you'll see a way to attach the two jigs together into a single jig that doesn't require a sled at all. So check out all those links below this video. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, which is always full of great woodworking tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker. You can read and subscribe for free at stumpynubs.com. Happy dovetailing.